Hey, Chapel here. I'm doing another Reincarnation 8 walkthrough, and today we're playing as Tau. And we get a start here of either Ice Blade, Craftsman Inheritor, or Endless Assault. I don't like the Endless Assault much, but the Ice Blade's a very good start, and Craftsman's is really good scaling. I think, um, overall though, I like the Ice Blade a lot more. And um, the sword build it sets up into is very good fun. Our village, uh, bloody drill start here is good just to have something for dealing with the um, horse heads, the sides, uh, blades. I quite like this set. Just one shots enemies in general early as well. Bloody drill starts pretty good on um, on any character. Oh, okay. oh what? There we go. Okay, that's a powerful enemy. Gotta be careful. Trying of recovery, I guess it's some kind of healing. But yeah, not the best. Oh wow. Piercing flames just the worst version of the bloody drill right now. Okay. Um Flower tri Chain and Sword Shadow are both pretty good right now. Um, I quite like getting um, a bit more AoE currently. You do have the Ice Blade, so it would have made the uh, Sword Shadow way better than usual, but since we don't really have a way to uh, stack swords up right now, I like just being able to uh, get triple weapon damage on stuff. This ascension synergizes really well with Bloody Drill. Because we're now just hitting the other targets for free. There we go. Okay, glimmering. That's better than the Piercing Flame. Oh, and it's actually got good inscriptions on it too. Extra fire rate on glimmering is really nice. Rank 2 of Flower Chain isn't good. I don't really like the Amplify Sword much. Uh, just taking the point in Swordsman, it takes it out of the Ascension Pool as well. So, I like doing that right now. If we get a Blade of Bloom, we could maybe just get value from the uh, Ice Blade that way as well. It could be an interesting way to play it instead. Oh, that's close. Oh wait, I lost my shield still? That's scary. Yeah, I actually, uh, I triggered my thing there. I'm just gonna take this to heal up quick. Actually, wait, I get my, I get my uh, Shrine of Recovery at next, so I don't need to do that. Yeah, I'm not taking uh, Flesh and Bones on Tau, that's just a death sentence. 
yeah, a pretty um, bad start with the scrolls, but we do have the um, the boulders vault incoming, so we get two more scrolls from this. Hopefully, we can get something a bit better there. And the uh, peddler coming up soon as well. I'll just do this now, actually. Okay, I'm f yeah, I'm fetched worlds all right here. Uh, and a thunder stuff. Okay, nothing too insane, but both got bad scores right now. Frenzied shark. I actually don't mind it at the moment. Uh, wait for good. The weapons aren't anything special, we'll just take the wait for good. Oh, okay. I like that laser glove. This should be uh, pretty alright on the boss. Wow, yeah, this actually does pretty uh, good to your target, this lace glove right now. It's a lot of uh, lucky shot to be having this early on. There we go. Get some max shield. Oh, and here we go. Um... Damn, these are all good options. I really do want the um, the sword guard, but I think the uh, the blade of bloom does really well here right now. So I just play at, um, at high stacks. I do want to see another sword guard though as soon as possible because um, that'll be uh, that'll be good to get. Yeah, look, this Blade of Bloom hits really hard with Ice Blade. Okay, Scary Room. Play it safe there. I'll go back in in just a sec, but it's not the easiest room right now. Oh. 
Oh wait, I oh I just ran out of balloons. That's not good. Yeah. Okay, I gotta be really careful now. to get some blooms back. Okay, that's difficult. Uh, let's see what we get. Uh, brutal gloves or corrosion shard. The improved clip I don't really like too much right now. I think I'll just take the skill damage as well. The shard makes us slow immune, but we're not actually using corrosion damage, so I don't think it's worth it just for that. Oh, okay. It's a uh, false heads event. I guess we swapped to bloody drill for a bit then. Bad rolls are we getting on this event right now? So many horse heads back there. Oh, and there's more snipers. I've just got to stay out of uh, the line of sight of the uh, snipers at the back there. Might be safe. Oh, well, never mind, he's in my face. Okay, he's got a dynamo. There we go. Okay, should be fine now. Right. We've got Phantom Peddler and a red chest here. Sure, lose the health. This is a bit scary now. Oh, and uh, untold effort, that's nice. Interesting. The illusion will never be bad. But the uh, that hippo is actually not bad for once, so... I don't think um, I've got enough new speed to uh, want to be taking that, though, regardless. I'm a bit scared of her. Look at that right now. Oh my god. Okay, yeah, let's go in here. <laughs> there we go. Now this event's not too bad. We don't really care about the um, elemental effect of our five gloves. Oh, okay. And water. late for Fire Dragon. I would have taken it to start of stage one, but I don't really want it going into boss. Uh, guess I'll just take the curse mark, but I would have rather something else. Golem. Oh, we've finally got some healing. Ah, none of those worth taking. Okay, we're just going into boss with this then. Alright, so just do a quick rundown of the build. Um, 
we got these laser gloves and the bloody drill. So started off with that bloody drill. Um, good piercing weapon for stage one. It helped a lot with the uh, horse heads and the um, events for horse head. Uh, didn't get any elites at all. Um, but we still got a decent number of scrolls here. The uh, enhanced untold effort is uh, is the best one we got right now. It's got uh, a lot of blooms now. It's pretty hard to run out of those. Um, yeah, the ascensions. Despite we started with a uh, ice blade here, but we've not really got any um, good ascensions for backing that up. Um, blade of bloom is uh, kind of the best one here. So with that and swordsman. It seems better to stay at, uh, at high stacks on blade heart um, rather than actually spending the swords all the time. Um, but yeah, with laser gloves we can stack up that pretty quick anyway. And this thing's got a really good inscription on it. Um, with the ice blade, this should be a quickie, a pretty quick first boss here. Yeah, it's very good um, early game blessing falls off a little later on, but for now, yeah, absolutely shredding boss as it should be. Just gotta be careful uh, not to get one shot. Yeah, look at that. Woo! There we go. Okay, yeah, we should be safe now then. Oh. Very easy golden fight. Okay. Reinforced armor. Uh, luminous heart. Hmm. So. I can gamble on whether or not I see a Bloom Blessing. If I see Bloom Enthusiast, then I definitely want this. If I don't, then the Luminous Heart is probably a little better. I think I'm going to take the Glowing Bloom in case I do see the um, Bloom Enthusiast on this next thing. It's not a bad Angelicora. I'm very tempted to take this right now. Plus projectiles. Uh, yeah, sure. I'll, I'll run this for a little bit. Um, this over the bloody drill, maybe? I doubt I'll really be using the secondary weapon, though. Not really got anything better right now, but... Yeah. No, oh, that's not great. Times fatal. Between that and Jackpot, not particularly great regardless. I guess I'll just try out a bit more Form Bloom, but... Oh, okay. Fiery enemy. Oh, no. Wait, this is a awkward event as well. I'm gonna get rid of the uh, fiery enemy. Nice. 
pretty tricky event, but a good rune to be getting it. And vindictive nature, it's not too bad. Get our next enhanced scroll here. Ah, <laughs> disappointing. Critical thunderclap gloves. Um. Does plus projectiles work with this? I think I'm gonna take this for now. It means I am running double normal ammo weapons, but it looks like we should be pretty alright on um, ammo at the moment between uh, the elemental bestowment and the one we just picked up from him. Size the snipers are making it easier. Oh. Oh, that's gross, man. Did I actually hit a shot there? Kill this guy now before the um. No. Oh dear, no, I messed up. There we go. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's slime prop there now. Can't do that. That's all the big threats in the room gone. Pretty safe now. Uh, cavalry. That'd be worth looking at in a sec. Right. Oh, okay. A warlike blade is never bad. Yeah, I'm going to take the first point for that. Nope. And... Uh... Nah, I think I'll stick with the uh, Angelicora. Oh, nice. Oh, it's the easiest one. That's really good. I love this jump vault. Ostrich Rider and Elemental Torment. Uh, a 
I don't know about the Ostrich Rider. I think I'd rather just take Lone Ranger, get some Lucky Shot. <laughs> Those are a bit counterintuitive, but I suppose I take Veteran still. Nothing too great with those scrolls, though. I might run out of ammo here if I'm not careful. I think I should use this just so that it's more ammo efficient. At least uh, that's a better option if I do run out of ammo, I can pick that up temporarily. It's been a quick clear actually on this room. Oh. Finally, sword guard. Okay. Good, good. That's an easy take. I can't even reach this, can I? <gasps> Wait. Wait, I want that. Oh, it's corrosion ball. Oh, well, I want to try this for a little bit. And this one's a nope. Oh, elite fight. Okay, good, good. If it had been the shield elite, I should have actually kept the fire dragon kill after that. I realised as soon as I scrapped it that I still potentially needed it for that. Good fight, good fight. 
Not good. Not good, nah. Oh, Lightless Shield. That is good. Solid defensive. Makes bosses a complete joke now. Uh, we hopefully get to a point where we don't have to reload if we get more Warlike Blade, so I think I just want to take this instead. The Magic Magazine probably would have been better in the short term, but in the long term, this is going to become way better than it. Once again, luckily this is a hard event, but it's not a bad room to get it in. Okay, we're actually running low. That's a bad weapon. Mag size 2 on a frenzied shark. Yeah. Okay, we've got a vault here. And we've got pedal around the corner. Oh, it's another trap vault. Freebie. Oh, against the flow. Perfect. That is just what we want. Oh, that is really good. Yeah, I want to take that. Actually, I'm just going to go back and do the vault now before um, anything else. Got pretty lucky with um, the kinds of vaults it's been this run. Like these uh, parkour vaults with two chests are always like the nicest ones to get. And then boulders in stage one. Skill Bible and Blazing Hoop. I quite like the fire weapon right now, so I think Skill Bible's easy choice. We're relying a lot on boom damage and um, sword damage. Arms Dealer, also very good. Very easy to proc that on town. And it's a very nice buff if you can keep it up constantly. Wait, that hits? 
Oh my god, wait, he can hit me through there. That's pretty stupid. I'm gonna get rid of the bandit first. Or the sniper, I mean. So swords hit there. There we go. Nope. Wait, scrap it? Hello? There we go. Just a furious wave. None of those are that good, though. Whoa. Corrosion enthusiast. Oh, okay. I mean, I want to take that prism. That's good. Uh, this is Wing God, right? I didn't actually check. Uh, nice. There we go. <laughs> That's all I need. Shared element. This should help make things a lot faster. Oh yeah, it's Wing God. Pretty slow, actually. Good. <laughs> A demon lord. Do we overcap this yet? I don't think we do. I think this is still worth taking right now. Uh, Alright, yeah, so looking at the build right now, I mean, we just got the um, element share between these two. We're doing um, combustion fusions with the fire scale as our damage. This is a double element chance prism, so we've got 60 de decay chance on that. Um, our ascensions, eh, they've been pretty mediocre. Um, we've got a lot of bloom stuff going on. 
um, with our bloom blessing we picked up in stage two at the start. Um, but we've not really got many points in the good ones, only uh, one point in Warlike Blade. We finally got the rank one sword guard. Um, I want to see an empathy with swords right now. That's like the main thing. Um, yeah, the main things right now, I think one point in No Escape will be good. Uh, a point in empathy with swords and then rank three of Warlike Blade is like always going to be nice here. I just want to be able to get that if I can. Uh, I'll just stick with the uh, fire scale for now. I don't know if I want to spam upgrade it yet, but um, I'll see what I uh, if I get anything better. Uh, well, that could be one way to get something better. Yeah, let's pick that up. Damn, we did never got the um, bloom enthusiast. Oh, and there we go straight away. I ideally need something with uh, fire on it though, because I'm um, damage sharing with prism, so. It's not a bad scalpel, but I just want to see it with fire if I'm going to take it. Before we go in. Right, what elite is it? Um, this will be the Elite Jack or uh, Yaksha, is it? I forget how it's pronounced, but yeah, Yaksha. None of these are that good, I'll just take the uh, moon speed. I am pretty slow right now, so that's better than nothing. Oh, it's this event. got sword guard but that's not enough to see us through like constant burning damage I don't think. Wait, we'll, we'll see how it goes, one sec. I use it for a 
little bit and I'll see if we generate enough swords to actually like. Once we get the um empty with swords, then there shouldn't be any problem at all with this, but I am kind of wary about this combo right now. It's giving us constant 40% damage boost though to skill and attacks. That's like the main good thing about it. Like, nah, nah, nah. nah. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, hello. I didn't realise that all jumped down. I thought they were on top. People. Uh, well that helps. I guess I've just taken off point and sword there. You know what? I'm just gonna start um, start upgrading the fire skin. I've got 5.3k at this point. I've actually got a decent amount of value from veteran now, so. Uh, okay, this does nothing. There we go. Shrine of Recovery is bad. Enhanced fire talent. But if it's an elemental one, I don't know. Thirty-seven percent fire. It's plus damage one. One more wave. Oh, hello, shots.
Uh, yeah, that's okay. I'll go back and look at both of them after the swings clear. Strike wing enhanced. Nope. Uh, sure. A uh, long shot, yep. Yeah. Alright, what did this have? Uh, extra rate of fire. I don't want resolute. Nope, none of those. We'll take that. Uh, and now nah, I won't take that. Um. Oh. Okay. Yo, I want to try that. It's not often you get out or venom that good. I just need to get a really big clip size to share it with. That's a lot better than um, elemental share, I think, on it. Where's the crossing? I won't bother if I've already gone past it.
That's a very nice way to cancel out of the uh, reload on the skateboard right now. Yeah, okay, I'm getting rid of the fire enthusiast so that I can keep my lightless shield stacks instead. Hopefully the craftsman was up here, but I didn't see. That was on before. Yeah, cross the mission. Okay, let's do this first. There we go. Um, I would assume that Sword Enthusiast will give me more value than that. Right, here we go then. So, um, going into third boss here, we've changed the build um, quite a bit. So we're now running the Aura of Venom instead, because we found an enhanced one um, at the Phantom Peddler. With really good inscriptions on it, so still um, element sharing it with the fire scale at the moment for combustion fusion. Um, and... Yeah, it's, it's uh, I'm, I've got Dilemma at the moment. I'm not sure whether the uh, Combustion Fusion is better or whether keeping it as no reload will be better because it's got a lot going for going both ways. It's it's going to be good regardless. It's going to be stupid amounts of damage. Um, yeah, the uh, the Ascension's still not found the uh, Empathy with Swords yet or the No Escape. Um, it's picked up a bit more of Sword Enthusiast and Sword Guard. But, yeah, we've got most of what we need right now. Now that we've got this uh, Aura of Venom, like, we uh, don't have to reload it manually. Uh, Gains the flow doesn't do much, but Skateboarder, we can cancel the reload animation with Bloom and then reload with Dash. Um, so that's pretty good. Uh, reasonable Luck is another one I'm thinking about. Um, probably getting close to the point where this is um, stopping us getting high enough Lucky Shot. But I think for now it's still, um, we've not got enough Lucky Shot to justify dropping it. So uh, yeah, this this should be a, a very easy third boss here. I dropped the Fire Enthusiast, so we've got the Lightless Shield value back. That uh, The Fire Enthusiast is taking all our stacks away. Um, I was kind of holding out on that, just in case I did find um, a deadly counter, but... It's just not worth it anymore. Also, we just got a fire tower from here that has damage share, so that's better than what we had on the uh, fire scale. Okay, yeah, let's scrap this then. Do some more upgrades on our Aura Venom. Here we go. Oh, and it's Boat as the boss. Wow. Wow. <laughs> okay, it's it's actually just killing it in like a few shots.
it. At the end there, I didn't have to reload if I um, cancelled it with Bloom and Dashed. Oh, that's a really cool um, rainbow arch. Oh, damn. Oh, okay. Yeah, if this had been like a Leila run, I would have taken that. Also, there's our M fuel sword, sick. Very good. Oh, flame shot a bit too late. May as well take it. You see that? Jeez. I fancy getting rid of this uh, UFO first, to be honest. Yeah. Why did he take no damage for a sec? triple elements on it, it got uh, hit by the thunder step and that put lightning. Nope, not using that. No way. Oh, second point in that, that's actually a good one to roll. to scrap these to get enough gold for all our upgrades. There we go. <clears throat> Ow. Let's do our upgrades first. Okay, this should be the elite penguin.
Wow. Okay. Bye bye. That didn't take long at all. Oh no. Oh, there it is, the deadly counter. Too late. I'll just take the bluff. I don't think it's that often we're going to be proccing that thing, so. I think just a 25% down increase is pretty solid instead of it. Because I'm never going to drop below full health with this build. Shields just will not break right now. I've got Lightless Shield, I've got Rank 2 Sword Guard, like. I'm not going to lose shields. And e even if I do, I have the um, resilient life for health regen. I'd be able to afford that as well. Okay, let's get rid of him first. Kill the sources next. There we go. Annoying. Thing, but sure. Here we go then, going into last boss. Um, there's no chance of us losing this. This is um, God Roll or Venom, really upgraded. Uh, it's going to get to uh, plus 22 for this fight. I think I've got enough for. Oh no. It'll be plus 21 for the fight. I can do two upgrades on it. Um, damage shared with Fire Tower for Combustion. Um, we have the Rank 1 Empathy with Swords now. We've got uh, Warlike Blade. Just a lot of kind of weapon damage boosts and such in general is uh, mostly what we're going for. Um, we're not casting Swords out at all to keep up the um, Swordsman stacks. Uh... I think I might cast it at one point during the DPS check just for Sword Enthusiast. I think it might outvalue um, Swordsman. I'm not sure though. Um, yeah, Scrolls doesn't really uh, matter too much what we have now. Like, it is just a case of the Aura of Venom can just carry it, but we've got, yeah, some legendaries here. We've got the Spirit Bible. The Lightless Shield is uh, huge for this fight. Um, it's going to be very tricky to. Uh, die to any of his big swings with this as long as I don't get hit by too many of the um, shots from the little guns. Um, 
yeah, we've got like uh, short dashes. We've got the um, what's it called? Skateboarder still for uh, stopping us having to manually reload the aura venom. Just a pretty strong build in general here. Um, I can afford the wind rider. That's uh, something that I might as well get. And this outvalues a upgrade on my weapon. So here we go. Yeah. That's a pretty good couple of scrolls to get at the end there, just for some more damage boost. And yeah, this should be a pretty short fight here. Pretty easy pass on the DPS trick there. Still a little slower than I thought. Um, I think I didn't really do the uh, dashes as well as I could have. I could have been firing that a bit faster and I was missing a lot of headshots as well. But yeah, good fight and good run. It's a very cool aura of Venom to get here. The corrosive balls and the um, just big damage increase from hitting the same enemy Make, makes a right click very good. I'm still not sure as to whether the um, combustion shell is better this run or the uh, shared mag with a large magazine weapon. I think the large magazine weapon definitely would have been um, easier to use because I wouldn't have had to manage a uh, skateboarder quite as efficiently as I was trying to. But um, sharing it with fire for the uh, huge combustion proc boost was... It's, I mean, that's never going to be bad. Sharing with Element is just a very, very strong mechanic in this game. Um, but yeah, that's, that's, a, that's a good run. And uh, thanks for watching. Um, be doing more of these soon. I'll, uh, I'll do another character again next time. And uh, have a good day. Bye-bye.